This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 or 5. It's time for getting the game. I have to repeat it, have to be the reason why we do this segment, Get in the Game. Tell them why. It's because a lot of times you have some of the best artists ever that aren't able to get in the game for whatever reasons. They meet roadblocks. They meet politics. It may be financial reasons. Who's to say? Right. But without platforms like this, we may not have ever discovered the man who owns this station right now. Mm. The one, the only Eminem. He got in the game. Somebody gave him a chance. Somebody gave Big Crit a chance. Somebody gave Kendrick Lamar a chance. Somebody gave Drake a chance. Everyone got a chance at some point and took advantage of it. And then their talent prevailed, Tracy G, the talent. It always will. And in that, we brought our next guest here today for getting the game. The one, the only Lance Pierce is here. What's up, Sway? It's great to be here. Thank you. Good to have What's you up, here. What's up, ladies? Hey. How you doing? Good morning. I no. like your vibe. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good energy. Yep. She, great energy. We're sitting there talking, man. Uh, Lance, you've been you've been um, you're very young. You're in your early twenties, mm-hmm. um, but you've been you know pursuing this this journey for a long time. When did you first get into music? Well, I was um, 14, actually. I had um, started working at Quad Studios. You know, mm-hmm. it was it was really meaningful to me because I was such a Pac fan. And, you know, um, you know, Quad was such a legendary studio. So mm-hmm. I, I was an intern and I was... Well, you got to explain that. Quad is where Pac got shot, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I, you know, yep. that's that's like something you take for granted being such like a hip hop student. You, yeah. you figure everybody knows that. But, yeah, um, yeah Quad was a, the spot that Pac got shot at. And, um, you know, it was just a legendary place for great music to come through. Yeah. So I, I ended up working there as an intern. I would call every day and I would be like... Um, you know, there's a guy, his name was Willis. He was actually the studio manager. Mm-hmm. And I would hit him every day and I'd be like, can I get a job? Can I get a job? And he was like, who are you? Like, who is this calling? And one day I ended up just showing showing up at the, um, you know, at the studio. And he was like, who, you know, what, what can I do for you? And I was like, listen, just give me a chance yeah. and I'll, I'll do anything. I'll, you know, I did studio runs. I scrubbed the, the, the studio consoles, the, the bathrooms, everything. Just, just, you know, just to get in and just to, in to learn. Like, I feel like that doesn't really exist the way that it should anymore like people paying their dues and really grinding from the bottom up so mm-hmm. oh, you know great. um yeah so i was 14 to make that long story short and who were some of the artists that were, you see come through that you had a chance oh my them? god are you kidding me um we had um like nas was in there oh. um shit um we had um oh my god m came through M&M? had, yeah. yeah m uh-huh. came through i didn't get to meet him unfortunately but yeah. i have a very very f- a funny story and was uh chris rock was actually up there recording uh, no sex in the champagne room, mm-hmm. and I remember they were like, "Yo, go see what he needs or whatever." Does he need? So I, he gave me a hundred dollar bill to go get a Krispy Kreme box of Krispy Kreme donuts, and he like he was so specific about it. And I was like, you know, I ran, I got him these donuts. I came back up, and I was like, um, you know, he was like, "Yo, here's your tip or whatever," and I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." Like, you know, I'm a little kid. I'm 14. Yeah. I'm just yeah. absorbing all that energy. How big was the tip though? Right. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Let me rephrase that. Hold boys, on, hold on. How much did he give you? You know what? It wasn't. It wasn't enough. It was. It wasn't enough to retire off of. Put it okay, that. Okay. To put it that way. All right. Cool. All right. Now, you know, you have an interesting story. You've had a chance to work with the great Nile Rogers, mm-hmm. along with others. You got a chance to spit in front of Rizzo, who was just here the other week. That's my brother. Yeah. Working with Nile Rogers um, from Chic. What, what did you learn from that? Who's been Pharrell's inspiration to one of his biggest hits, you know, with, uh, with Daft Punk. Mm-hmm. What, what was what was it like working with him? Niall was such a huge uh, mentor for me. And, um, you know, he really taught me about just embracing originality mm-hmm. and, and being fearless. And then, you know, the craft of songwriting and, um, and melody. And even, like, as a lyricist, you know, and, and for me, words are so important. But then again, melody it does something that words can't always do. Yeah. And he really taught me about just incorporating that. And, and you know, I was I was blessed to actually be um, able to record my first couple records, uh, you know, in his Connecticut home, which is, he used to say, which was the Madonna room, because Madonna ended up cutting a lot of her, you know, early records there. Wow. So you felt like you were just steeped in this music greatness, you mm-hmm. know. And, um, and, he, and he's incredible to this day. Like, I can pick up the phone and, and he'll just give me advice. Yeah, wow. And you're only 23 years old? Yeah. Wow. I mean, she got a lot of stories, but um, you know what? I want to play some of your music. Please. This is getting the game. I want the citizens to chime in and tell us if we should put you in the game or sent you on a bench. 
you you rap and you sing. Yeah, yeah. And you write. Yeah. All right. This is Lance Pierce. We're going to play Waterfalls. What is this about? So Waterfalls is actually uh, my first single off this new EP I'm dropping called Editor's Eye. And it was really just about um, just being honest, you know, and sometimes you get that rush of a feeling and emotions and it kind of hits you like and it washes over you like a waterfall. And it's it's basically just being able to be comfortable enough with yourself to to express that. Mm-hmm. Wow. OK. Lance Pierce, 888-742-3345. That's nice. I appreciate that. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, that that kind of got the whole room a little flabbergasted here. Huh? <laughs> what you think, HB? Um, pleasantly surprised, but not presently uh surprised. Not because of um the stories that you told, but basically because of the, just watching you perform your music while it was playing. Um, it just shows that you're excited about your project. A lot of times, and Sway can tell you. Artists come up here and they just feel like it's a given that, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm on the radio, I'm sitting next to Sway, so it should be good. But I just watched you perform your own music while you were here. And I was like, that's dope to see, you know. So you. really, it was just really good to see that. So I was just surprised by it. Um, And, and like he said, it goes without saying with your music, really dope put together. I mean, the singing, the writing, it, it was dope. I mean, I have nothing to say other than it was dope. I appreciate right that. Up. Tracy G is our um, <coughs> designated um, millennial ratchet gauger. <laughs> right, I'll and, take and that. Millennial. Uh, what do you think? Tracy? Well, on like a scale of one to Miley Cyrus, it's definitely not on a Miley Cyrus type of level. And I think it's really dope. Like Heather was saying, it just it looks good to see you enjoying it, but it looks good to feel it as well. And I think mm. a lot of times in this day and age, we want to lump all female rappers that share the same complexion as you, like Lil Debbie or Krayshawn or even Iggy Azalea and be like, okay, well, the white female rappers are just going to talk about twerking and how everyone should not hate on them for being white or whatever. But you are very introspective and genuine, and I think it was um, relatable to a whole wide scale of people. I appreciate that. I mean, you know, just to touch on your comment, like nothing was ever given to me, like nothing. Like I came from a time, um, you know, and it's funny just to say that, like just being 23, but I, I did come from an era where in New York City, in order for you to be heard and be on, you had to touch every open mic and every meaningful club. Like I did Pyramid Speed, Babalu's Downtime, Amarachi Lounge, The Apollo. Like, you know, you had a grind. Like that doesn't exist anymore. Like I had to go in there and I had to put work in. Like, you know, nowadays it's like, okay, you, you drop music online yeah. and you hope like a blog, blog picks post, yeah. exactly picks yeah. it up or whatever but you know what happens for me is is I feel like there's a disconnect between the artist and then the people yeah. because you had to get up on that stage and you had to look people in their eye mm-hmm. and if they weren't feeling you they were going to let you know and and so you you actually develop the craft at, you know of being not just an artist but a performer mm-hmm. you know and understanding how to engage your listeners so. but but at 23 and and I, I beg to differ a little bit somebody taught you that because at 23 you <laughs> We see so many artists, Lons. Yeah. They don't know it. So who told you that? Because somebody taught you that. I mean, li- I'm telling you, life, real life experience. I mean, I, I you know, I, I was raised by a single mother, and um, you know, I, I always knew that music was my path. And I ended up leaving high school at a very, very young age, which I don't even, you know, advocate because it's a harder path. But I was like, you know, I was like 14, and um, you know, when I was working at Quad, that was really my day to day. And so I was a little kid being raised around adults. Got and, it. Okay. And and, yeah. and and you know, that being said, I. Had had real like mentors like you know um i'm gonna say his name on <laughs> like i had a dude his name was uh, mental supreme who you know really really uh you know schooled me like really really schooled me he's like an og like for real like you know and 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 he took me under his wing because you know i was in the clubs like all hours of the night i was like 15 years old in the streets in new york city like a little girl like mm-hmm. i'm blessed that nothing happened to me you mm-hmm. know what i mean yeah. like really moving around like yeah. you know so the 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 truth is is that i've had great mentors okay all right okay. this is what we're gonna do we got peter mack on the line from san francisco <clears throat> peter mack should we put her in the game or sit her on the bench. Hey, Sway, that's definitely put her in the game, man. That track right there. Yeah. That's a track, man. You you hit Highway One riding with your little honey, man, and you're rubbing your hands on her leg type of shit, man. That track. <laughs> <is dope>. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Mack, my man. All right, we got um Frank in South Carolina. What up, big Frank? Hey, what's up, man? Yo, put her in the fucking game, Sway. There it is. All right, we got her. We got her. We got to go to Dino in Fort Lauderdale. Put her in the game or sit her on the bench. Yo, my dude, Sway, definitely put on the starting five, no doubt about it. Yeah. It's all good. 
Yo, the girl's hungry. You can hear it. Yeah. She's doing her thing, and I'm expecting bigger. There it is, man. All right. Uh, this is Lance Pierce. She's our Getting the Game artist. We're going to go to the next song, which is Anywhere. What is this song about? Oh, my God. Anywhere was the first record that I actually dropped um, that got, you know, me some great attention. And uh, Daytuan Thomas, I have to shout him out. Daytuan. Daytuan. Everyone is too. Everyone, yeah, <laughs> loves him. He's such an amazing guy. And not to not, not to make it a long-winded story, but when I was, like, 15, I had stopped him in the street and I had spit for him. And since that day, he had really, really, like, you know, just given me a lot of great advice. So Anywhere was the song that I um, that I put out on Vibe and that he co-signed. And uh, it's a Ashford and Samson simple and it's special and it's a lot of soul in it solid as a rock ass for the simpson yeah oh my gosh is that the sample no nah, that's not the same oh, okay all right, but, yeah. but that's <laughs> but that's who it is <laughs> all right that would have been a great segue i blew it all right here it is anywhere <laughs> let us know what you think 888-742-3345 uh, lon pierce this is it called anywhere let us know what you think so we put her in the game or sit her on the bench Let's take it to San Jose, California. We got Paul on the line. What do you think, Paul? Put her in the game or sit her on the bench? Sway, put her in the game. Put her in the game. All right. We got uh, Dell from Florida. Put her in the game or sit her on the bench, Dell. What do you think? Put her in the game. Sway, she's like a perfectionist, man. It's like you can hear it in her voice. Everything has to be perfect. has to be right because I, it, it's just like she got a different – it's just like a different punk with her. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Sure. I feel you, Dell. Yeah. yeah. All right, Masano, um, Masano from Philly. Put her in the game or sit her on the bench? Put her in the game. Yo, we've been needing her forever, yo. She the shit. That's what's up, man. Stan in Houston. Put her in the game or sit her on the bench? Stan. Yo, yo, yeah, put her, yeah, put her in the game, man. Yo, you can tell she's hungry. You can tell some years of being in that studio or whatever that it pays off. It, it definitely pays yeah. off. All right, Leela in San Jose. Put her in the game or sit her on the bench? Hello? Yeah, put her in the game or sit her on the bench. <laughs> We're gonna put her in the game. I love her voice. Okay. She almost sounds like a Alicia sounds like an Alicia Keys type of sexiness and be digging it. Wow, that's what's up. You know what? Thank you for your calls. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what I appreciate most is the comments you were making about a lot of artists uh feel like they made it once they get that blog post on whatever blog that post. And uh <laughs> <laughs> There's no artist development. There's no development. There's no dues being paid. There's no 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 struggle, you know, that I think helps shape the character of many artists. All the greats got a great story to tell. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists don't have a story to tell. They come up here, we can't even interview them because they don't really have a story to tell. Right, right. Somebody posted it, and that's all their story is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, God bless them, man. If you can make it work from there, yeah. good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's great to see somebody who paid dues and earned their way here at such an early age. Um, I think, um, not to cut you, I just yeah. want to say one quick thing. It's like, you know, um, I, I think identity is so important. You know, like the I was I was born in, in 89. Right. But I was, you know, raised in the 80s. Right. And the 80. I mean, excuse me. I was raised in the 90s and the <laughs> 90s was such a classic era of music. Yeah. Everybody was original. Everybody had their own vibe. And I just feel like, you know, now that's what's kind of a little bit missing. Yeah. And I, and I miss that, you know, which is like everybody having their own identity and mm -hmm. being unique. You get the radical differentiation. I say it all the time, Heather B. Yeah. And I hope uh, as you continue um, people just don't box you in. Yeah, to me, you're not a female rapper. You're you're an artist. Thank you. You know, and, and continue to put your art out here. You've been blessed, and continue to 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 put your art out here, and don't compromise that. You know, a, a lot of times people get caught up, and it's just like, okay, she got a flat stomach and a fat ass. Sell so that. I ain't mm -hmm. really interested in what she got to say. Right. And, and and I hear something and I see something and hope in you and hopefully you'll continue to put that forth. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, Lauren Hill, you know, Roxanne Shante, you know, Missy, um, you know, Queen. Like, you know, these are these are artists that are just. Heather B. <laughs> Heather B. I'm you sorry. got a name. Yeah. Heather Excuse B. Me. Right there. I'm pointing. I apologize. At it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. So, so no, she's just naming just... great female artists. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just right. Heather B. Yeah, that's yeah. all. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're right, 100. Yeah. percent So yeah. what I mean by that is only to say like respect. That's all. Like take is. a hat off to respect to like you know women that need to be shouted out. That's what's up. Bro. No doubt. Lions, Piers, big things in your future. Don't forget us. Absolutely. All Sway, right. Thank you. I'm really, really honored. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're honored.
And we're humbled by your presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, how can people reach you? <clears throat> Please um, come come uh, holler at me on Twitter, uh, at Lance Pierce, L-A-N-Z-P-I-E-R-C-E, uh, LancePierce.com, um, SoundCloud.com slash Lance Pierce. And um, the music is there, and I definitely always follow back and, you know, say something to me, I will say something back. That's what's up. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.